the Helinox Sunset Chair. I uh, ride a dual sport adventure bike and debated on whether getting this Helinox Sunset Chair. And I'll have to tell you, almost 2,000 miles of travel and a few weeks on the road. This is well worth the investment and weight and carry. I never thought I would carry a camping chair being on, a, on an adventure bike because I never really wanted to carry the weight or the, the packing of, um, of how much space it would take in the bags. But let me tell you, it is well worth it. And there's a lot of things that would go if I needed to conserve space before this chair. There's nothing better at the end of a day, long day ride then you being able to sit down in a normal chair and take off your boots or in the morning like right now and um, put on your boots and have you know after you I've just packed my tent up and my sleeping bag my sleeping pad and all that and just take a moment to rest here before I get geared up and ready to go on the bike I mean it's just it's priceless it's uh, I really got this one because it has a, it's a high back, so you can rest your head. And I didn't, you know, for me, a chair where you can't really rest your head and you're just kind of, yeah, it's okay for a little while. But what if you set up camp early and you got some fantastic views like we have here and you just want to just get back in it a little bit and uh, you can kind of tuck your arms in if you want or you can have your arms out. It doesn't really matter. Sometimes I put them up top here and just kind of, just kind of relaxed. It's got a little bit of a bend to it so you can do a slight rock. I mean, I wouldn't recommend trying to use it as a rocking chair or anything. And it really, really super, super light. I think I think it's like three pounds, a little over three pounds. But it comes, comes apart so easy. Bam. And then the back just comes right off. And then, um, I'll actually take it apart and put it together for you real quick. I mean, I thought my tent went together easy, but this thing really goes together really easy. And it almost kind of puts itself together if you let it go. You always put the top on first, the back. Slide them in. Figures this would be the hardest. Uh, when you're on camera, no, nothing ever goes right when you're on camera, right? It still ain't hard though. And it's got these like uh, extra, I, I can tell this is going to last a long time, the stitching and the plastic, no, it's not plastic, it's just a really good stitching and fabric that they have in there. I know there's knockoffs, and I can't speak of those because there's a lot of knockoffs that kind of do this chair and they're for a lot less price, but for me, I'd rather know that this thing's going to last a long time, it has great reviews, and uh... What can I say? I think if the Valley of the Gods needed a camp chair, I think this would be it. I can't make a better endorsement, guys. That's all I have for you. Before we go, I'll show you uh, a little pan around view of what we got going on here. But this is it. The Helinox Sunset Chair. Right now it should be called the Sunrise Chair because it's early morning. This is where we're at. Utah, Valley of the Gods. Put it on the list after your list of camping chairs. Get out and live the adventure. 
sit back in your Kelanox sunset chair and take in the sights. <laughs>